we have is a vacuum hold down system, my old vacuum melted down that I had. So I replaced it and this is our first test. My old one would pull about six, six and a half inches of mercury when fully closed off. This one's pulling close to 10. In this setup with this sheet of material, what I would generally expect to see is pulling about with my old system about five inches uh, and I would probably have to add a little bit of tape around the ends to get it to seal in order to do that. Uh, this is especially hard to, to vacuum down because it curls right at the last. So I would run masking tape along this and I would get about five, five and a half inches of mercury with my previous system and we're going to try this one and see how we do here. And what I have is it installed outside in its own little cabinet here to close it up. And right now I don't have it plumbed uh, optimally. I'm just using the same hoses I had on the old system for now to try and catch my work up so that I've got time to redo this like I need to. But. Uh, Let's turn it on here and see what happens. It pulled the sheet down pretty good. Even these edges are pulled down. I wouldn't have to take that. And, oh wow, it's pulling uh, about six and a half inches of mercury, which is far more than the other one would pull, even when sealed off completely. And that's down too, it's not coming up. And that's just with two of the four motors running. That's one, one stage running. So what I want to do is turn on the second stage here and see what happens. Okay, now all four are running. Supposed to be close to 400 CFM. So let's see what we have here. Yeah, we're still pulling about six and a half, but we've got a lot more CFM to accommodate any leakage. And there's plenty of leakage in these hoses. Uh, again, it's not optimized for this. Yep, I'm going to have to do something with those hoses to get those because they can't take the pressure that this vacuum system can put out. So, let me get to work on that.